We're joined by Kieran McKenna for this evening's half an interview. Kieran, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Um, we'll begin by reflecting on the weekend's defeat at Tannadice in the Scottish Cup. Um, how disappointing was it to lose that game in that way? Uh, I think it was very disappointing. I think we went there, obviously, Dundee United, a, a Premiership team, but we went there uh, knowing that we, we had a good chance and that if we played the right way and we applied ourselves that we could give them a good game and I think you've seen that I think the first half we were the better team I think we dominated we, I think they had maybe one glancing header on target in the first half and we obviously went 1-0 up but I think it could have been more at half time I think it could have been at least two um, so I think we went half time happy to be leading but maybe a bit frustrated that it wasn't more and I think we knew that coming out in the second half they were, we were maybe expecting a reaction from them because they had been poor the first half. Uh, so we came out second half expecting that and I think we've seen that the first 10 minutes they put us under a lot of pressure and they had a few chances and Kieran had to come up with a few big saves and we had one clear, uh, Banzo cleared one off the line but I think once we came through that 10 minutes again we settled down and we were really comfortable for the next 20 minutes. I don't think they threatened us at all. I don't think we pressured it. And we were, you know, going deep into the second half, last 10, 15 minutes. And I think if you were to ask all the boys, we're pretty confident that we would have held on and got, got the win. But I think it was just unfortunate that we conceded two goals. Um, so I think everybody, the whole team was gutted that we lost the game. <clears throat> yeah, as you say, it's obviously a gutting way to lose the match, but in general, do you think the boys took plenty of encouragement from the way that we did take the game tonight, particularly in that first half? Yeah, absolutely, and I think uh, we know that we can we can play like that, and I think it's just about trying to do it every game and getting more consistency, and it's starting well. I think the last there's been a few previous games against Forfa, against Airdrie, where we haven't started well, and we've give, given them goals, and it makes our our job a lot harder, whereas on Saturday we started well and we were really solid um, and we did a great first half, so I think we can take a lot from that and hopefully apply that uh, to the league. You mentioned does taking the lead, Scott Tiffany got the goal. Um, how big a part is, of the team has he been since he came in on? Oh, he's been sensational, I think. Coming on loan is always hard, trying to integrate into, into a team when you know it's a short-term uh, kind of deal and especially uh, Tiff Sloan it's, it's extremely short term he's only here for two or three months so um, and we didn't he didn't have many training sessions at all before he started his first game but the amount of goals that he's scored and he's created and been involved in since he's came his impact has been uh, tremendous and he's just been brilliant for us and I hope that it continues yeah, You mentioned having a few chances just before half time to double that lead that we didn't take and was that just sort of the same old story for this season that we've not quite been clinical enough we've been punished for yeah a little bit um, I think that has happened in more games uh, than we would like I think I do always think the important thing is that we're creating chances though I think you'd rather be creating a lot of chances than none so I think you can take some positive that we're creating a lot of chances but I would agree that there's been too many games where we haven't gotten the goals that we should have got from the chances so I think um we just need to keep creating and hopefully sometimes it's just you just need a little bit of luck as well. So hopefully that, that can maybe swing our way as well. On a personal note, you've got 90 minutes for the third time since your injury. Do you feel like you're pretty much up to match sharpness and fitness now? Yeah, I'd say so. Um, it has been hard, obviously, coming back and then I get through in quite quickly uh, against Falkirk. Came through that okay and then we went, they get suspended and we went into lockdown again for two months and then trying to train on your own and trying to f find the balance between staying fit but not doing too much where you come back tired type of thing. So I think that was hard. Um, and then when we did come back, we were thrown right into it. We, you know, I think a week or two of training before the game started and then we've had two games a week since then. So it's always hard initially to try and get, get the strength back and get the fitness back. But I would say that I'm there now. I'm pretty comfortable and I'd say uh, the rest of the boys are there as well. Looking back on your injury quickly, could you tell us a little bit about it and also how you approached your recovery? Yeah, so it was meniscus tear um, and I pretty much had to get an operation straight away. There was no real way to rehab it without an operation. So we got an operation, very simple, um, couldn't have gone better, quick and easy. Um, kind of took out the, the broken parts of meniscus and then it's a kind of six to eight weeks back from then and I think I'd 
I came back in around six weeks. Um, it's one of those ones where <clears throat> it's an easy fix and it's, a re you know, considering that you need to get an operation, it's relatively quick to come back from, but then you always get a little bit of tightness and stiffness and a little bit of discomfort, you know, two or three months down the line. Um, so you, you, it's just about staying on top of that and uh, making sure that after games, you're, you know, icing it, taking ice baths and, and, and doing all the right things um, to make sure that uh, it doesn't, it doesn't get out of hand where you can't train or play. So I think, over the, especially because of the amount of games we've had over the past few weeks, um, I've had to really concentrate on that and making sure that it doesn't swell up or get too stiff where it, it, it hinders me. But I think I've I've done a good job in the, the physio and the, the medical team's got a, a, a good job at doing that. And obviously it was quite a while out and a, a lot of games that you missed. How good does it just feel to be back in training and playing every week? Yeah, that's absolutely brilliant. Um, it was obviously frustrating because then I come back and then we go into lockdown, so it's like I'm out for double the time kind of thing. But um, I think a lot of players would say that I've obviously struggled this past year or two with lockdown and everything, that um, people from outside might look in and think, oh, wow, that must be hard. playing. A, they're playing two games a week, three games a week for months. But if you were to ask the majority of players, it's exactly what you want it's exactly as a player what you want and you want to be playing that's when that's when you improve the most is when you're playing games it's when you get challenged the most and at the end of the day the only way you can get new contracts and stay as a footballer is by playing games so I think it's just brilliant that we can have so many games and it just it's just a lot of opportunity um, for everyone to play. You featured in all but one of the games that we've had since the restart overall as a team how do you think we've done since we've come back? Um, I think we've did good. I think there's no doubt that we're disappointed at the points we've dropped. Um, I think when you look at Cove, again, I think when I look back, the first half was a bit scrappy, but then second half, I think we dominated for large parts of it. We went 1-0 up and then we had two really good chances to get the second goal and we didn't get it and then we can see later on. So we're disappointed to not take three points there and then fourth uh, very disappointed not to take three points there. So I think, <clears throat> you know, when you look at those games and the points that we're dropping, it is disappointing. But I think the, a lot of the performances have been good. And I think we've showed that we can certainly uh, win games and, uh, and compete at the top of the table. And I think so. Now I think all the players are just really dying to get a little bit of consistency momentum and get, you know, three points and just concentrate on the next game and hopefully get three points and then go again. And I think if you if you get on a good run of maybe two, three, four wins, then I think a lot of, a lot of stuff will change. And so that's what we're just kind of focusing on right now. And next up for us is East Fife at Bayview. Um, they're behind us in the table and goal difference at the moment. How important a game is that for us just now? Well, it's absolutely massive. Um, I know they're behind us in the table, which obviously makes it a massive game, but... I don't know, there's maybe how many, five or six league games left until the split. Um, so every one of them is just so big and every player knows the kind of magnitude of it. Um, so it doesn't really matter what, what team we're playing against, it's just every game is just massive at this point in the season. So we're taking every game the same almost and uh, and just really hoping that we apply ourselves and, and get the win. We beat them 2 now when they came to Firhill early in the season, but they're unbeaten at home in the league. Um, so going away to their place is, is going to be really tough, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It is going to be really tough. And they've played maybe a little bit more games in a shorter space of time over the past seven, ten days. So I don't know if that will maybe swing in our favour. Um, but we just need to go out there and make sure we start fast and for, uh, start strong. And uh, I don't really think you get many easy games in this league. So... Just need to take it, take it seriously. And it's a, a double away trip this week with Peterhead. Then on Saturday, um, are these two games going to be pretty pivotal? Pivotal and sort of starting that run that you talk about trying to get us on the right track. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, yeah, absolutely. I think, and you know, I don't know. Looking, as we might look at, you know, it's two hard away games traveling to Faith and traveling all the way up to Peterhead. But if I look at some of the fixtures that other teams in the leagues have had. It's been brutal for some other teams who are also part-time. So I don't really think there's many excuses we can be making. And uh, 
We just need to go out and do the business. And you're absolutely right. I think these are two big, massive games that can hopefully kickstart and uh, kickstart that momentum that we can take in to the rest of the games and in, into the split and uh, see, see what happens. Well, thanks for your time, Kieran. Good luck for the game. Absolutely. I appreciate it.